Today we spend some time perusing the market, checking out what things are being sold. Ooh, welcome friends to a new episode of Lineage 2 hanging out today on the Gluteo Classic server. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a pretty good day. And today I want to do something that I like to do when I'm kind of in between my little farming sessions and it's something that I like to do when I need to like I need a break from you know leveling and doing things like that and it's just it helps when you need like a little bit of a break I don't think I selected myself. I didn't. Shoot. Darn it. Ha! <laughs> now I got it. Okay, now I should be getting my stuff. There we go. Okay, I just wanted to get this going. <laughs> Dang it. So, that's, um, we're gonna go do some shopping today. Um, I have a little bit of money. I've got a million. I've, uh... I took some money and uh, sent some money over from Nalia, and I sold some stuff on the market. So we're doing we're doing okay. We have a we we are now a millionaire, which is cool. So let's go take a look at Gluteo. Uh, we'll end here in in uh, Gluten, but we're gonna check out Gluteo, Dion, and Giran to see what's kind of on the market. Now, what I like to do usually is I will I will check the market and see if there's things that I can buy that I could sell for a higher rate. Uh, now, obviously, that's a gamble. Always is. Playing the market is always a gamble. But it, it sometimes it can pay off. So today I found some recipes really low grade so just regular recipes being sold for like a thousand um, I know that they I know specifically that they sell for more so I snatched them up so I can sell them for more but it doesn't look like there's anything listed here in Gluteo so let's go check out Dion yeah we have the different systems there we go we're getting the two different <laughs> sounds always different okay so brigadine keys let's see what you got uh, we'll wait for everything to kind of go in here now I'm not really sure how much these sell for so I'm really gonna kind of stay away from those. What do we got here? Yeah, that's pretty standard. Tasty shots. I like that. Square shield, metallic fiber. Those probably sell for about 15, so that's about right. I bet those might go for more. Actually, I'm fairly confident all of those would go well I'm not quite sure dude really block implight characters reinforced metal plate those might be something we might want to consider it's about 200,000 that's about a fifth of our money something we have to consider so Material Girl is selling some nice recipes. Something that might be able to turn around and sell for more. Who actually uses just straight up spirit shots? Yeah, those all look similar. And then, yeah, that's all. Those are all pretty standard prices for stuff. We're not getting any deals there. So let's go take a look at... Gearin. Now I do this from time to time when I need like a break. Oh, the other thing somebody asked me 
is if we can crystallize our degrade armor. I don't know if that's possible. I don't want to just straight up do it because I'm afraid that it will work. It because if you just do it, nope, cannot be crystallized. I thought it gave you a warning. So it doesn't allow you to do that. It says cannot be stored, shared account, dimensional, cannot be exchanged, dropped, or sold. So yeah, no, we've answered that question. You cannot crystallize the moon armor. So those of you that were asking, that is impossible. Can't do it. It is obviously like an account bound thing because it's tied to a quest. So degrade crystals. What do you got going on here? That is not even the right person. 595, that's pretty accurate. They sell between 595 and I've seen them for 575 up to 650 ish. They sell pretty regularly around 600. What else do we have here? Not so much about those. What do we have? Yeah, those are all kind of expensive. So, when you're buying and selling on the market, you have to be a little bit careful. Because you never know, you could, you have to be thorough with what you're going to do. Because if you don't, you could lose a lot of money. And you could buy something people aren't buying. People are always going to buy those recipe re uh, recipes. That's just something that... There's always new crafters that come on the server. They will sell. Now, they won't, they won't turn around fast. That's the thing. You can buy them. It's more of like an investment because then you can sell them later for, for much more and make a profit, but you have to wait for said profit. So that's part of an issue. Wow, Stones of Purity sell for 50000 each. I wonder if that's really true. That's crazy if they do. I need to start collecting those. <laughs> um, we'll get them at some point. Treasure chests. I do have some. Uh, I've got 26. So that could... We could make some money there. I have considered opening them. Actually, I don't remember exactly what... It says double click to get an item. I don't know what item you get. I guess we should maybe just, let's test with one. Okay, what do we get? We get a gray explosion scroll. Ex inflicts physical damage by using the power of a devout heart. Cannot be exchanged, dropped, or sold to private store. Okay, so I don't like that. That's garbagey. So that was like kind of a waste. So we lost like 2,500 bucks on that. That's okay though. We, it was worth it just to know what it is. Blessed spirit shot. See now that is a really good recipe, but it's being sold for a lot of money. That's not necessarily a good price. Now if we were selling, if this was being sold for like really cheap, I'd buy it and then jack up the price and sell it. But that person obviously knows what they're doing, so that's good for them. Anyways, let's see here. A plus nine bow? Dang, that is sweet. I'd love to have. I, I don't think I've ever had a, a weapon that's been more than plus seven or eight. Like, for real. Quality leather. Ooh, that sells for a lot, too. We gotta work on getting that. Not exactly sure what some of that stuff sells for, so I'm gonna have to, like take some notes I have a piece of paper and a notepad that I I put my stuff down on so I can always come back and look later especially for things that catch my eye at least because buying and selling on the market is a really good way to make money like I know for a fact like you could make some money with these so but the problem is when you Varnish and iron have both I've sold both for 500 now The thing is is he has a lot we'd have to almost buy all of this to rid the market and then be able to sell it 
at that rate because if you set up your shop and you don't have all of this someone's gonna buy these first and then you're not gonna sell yours so that's something to consider too when it comes to materials and selling stuff so see now this one sells for 2.5 that one over there is selling for three so these are things you have to look at when you're you're buying stuff a million per temp temper dang people are probably buying it too yeah buying and selling on the market is difficult so these warsmith holds warsmith holders and anvils those are all top quality recipes those probably will sell for about that much especially if there's a person that really needs it Ding, ding, ding. Oh, here we go. A Yaksa Mace recipe, 40 million. It's not even 40 million for the actual making of the mace. <laughs> like, if you buy all the stuff. That's so dumb. That's a ridiculous price for that. Just saying. See, look at this guy selling 2,000 iron ore for 500 each. And they, they probably will sell at some point once that other guy's out. Yeah. Ooh, Brigadine rec Recipes. 15,000 I don't think that people will buy them because you can buy it right on the market you can just go buy it from the from the armor seller okay there's obviously stuff on the market to buy but I'm not seeing any deals or anything yeah CS 600 and those will sell. They sell pretty fast. The uh, D-grade crystals. So after I took my Manticore set and I crystallized it down, I was able to sell that really quick. People always need them. What else do we have here? Longbow, C-grade, Mithril Keys. Mithril boots, mithril, mithril, mithril. Okay. Ah, what do you have? Maestral molds. See, now these are 60,000 each. I bet... Ugh, it's tough. Those might go for more. But you'd, you really have to hold out. So we'd have to invest 120,000 to wait for to maybe double our money almost I'm guessing perhaps what do we got here dead man staff 2 million yeah free craft are they all set to 1 20 24 that's not free that's a lie thanks a lot jerk whiskey Plus seven, that's awesome. At some day, some day, I I really want to work. I wanna when I have a lot of money, I want to work on getting and selling some like enchanting weapons and things like that. I want to do that. So, well, the only the only ones I would really consider, I think, might be these maestro molds. And I think there was another guy over here that had some other things. No. No. Can't remember where it was. Um, yeah, these guys. So, I mean, that is something to consider, but we don't really have the money to buy out that guy. So that's kind of useless stuff. I thought somebody had crafted leather. What are you selling for? 85,000 each. Yeah, that's not happening. Those are more like 35,000 uh, 
So he's trying to sell for a crazy amount. Nobody's going to buy that because there's other people that are selling on the market. And if you just do a little bit of research, you'll find that there's much more out there. Okay, so yeah, we have to get ourselves some stones of purity. Those will sell for a good amount. Now, these maestro molds, though, might be worth buying. Yeah, this guy had them. So whether or not do I want to do that or not. I didn't see any Yaxa stuff on the market, so I didn't see any Yaxa maces. Um, and I don't think this guy, did he actually have heads? Because we also want to start saving for our stuff too. He does, but they're 600 each. And to make a Yaxa mace, let's see if we can find a crafter that can make one. Let's see. Can you make Yaxas? No, you cannot. Nope. Shots and crafts. Dendo. Light crossbow. Um. Ooh, somebody's making full plate, so we could start collecting our full plate keys. No Yaxas though. Monculus. Demon Staff. Crystal Dagger. Ooh. Orcish pole arm pole axe though. So you need eleven. So that would be quite a bit for a Yaxa mace. Ghoul staff. Well, C grade jewelry we could worry about. Avadon, B grade. Okay. Bone breaker. So we could actually make quality leather because I've got, I could make cord. We can make some of these and then sell them on the market, but people already have them on the market. So, yeah, I'm not seeing anybody that can actually make Yaxa Maze, so that's obviously something that we'd have to consider, too, is even if we collect all the keys, is there somebody around that can make it? That's the other piece of the equation that you have to be careful with. Whereas we might even have to make our own crafter. Which wouldn't be a bad thing because you're going to need it for... I'll need one for the clan anyways. Ooh, a heavy doom hammer. That's kind of cool. Nope, no dice. So that's another thing that we have to consider. So, ooh, full plate. C grade full plate. Ooh, we're halfway to having one piece of our full plate armor. That's not a bad deal. Uh, 2 million is... 1.8 seems a little bit high, but... Well, so this is part of it. This is all part of playing lineage is actually searching the... and starting to... gather... gather stuff for your next round. Yeah. So right now I didn't see anybody on the anybody selling Yaxa stuff. I mean I saw that those two heads, but that was about it. Spear body slasher. Plate oh those are plate. We need full plate. Doom boots. Ooh. Eight million. Okay. So, yeah, today was kind of uneventful, not much on the market. Uh, I have had plus 12, what? Dang. 
That's super cool. I mean, we're not an archer, but if you were an archer, that would be nice to have. <laughs> but 35 million is a crazy amount of money. I don't think I checked any of this stuff up here, did I? Yeah, I did. Orcish glaive blade, 75. You need a you need 11. So that's well, that's halfway there. But well, friends, so this is part of the game, you know, taking a look, uh, looking for things on the network, see what people are selling. I wonder if, are there people actually housed in Aiden? Because that's the next, I think that's the next area, or Oren. Let's check Aiden. If Are there people actually selling in Aiden? So my game crashed, I'm interested to see. So I was doing a little bit too much, but let's go take a look at Aiden. I have yet to come to Aiden. This will be the first time I've actually come here, so there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if people let's are here. See. This is the first time I've actually come out let's to see Aiden. see what happens. So. Come on, man. Okay, there are people it. here. Let's wait for them all to spawn What's in. What's going on? Got, like, all hung up. There might not be many. Oh, the end of this video a, might be gonna wonky be a fair amount. because... Let's see. Of something Let's see what happens when they spawn in here. Guessing. I don't know. Crashing the game. There's a good amount of people here. Perhaps. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh man, maybe there's a whole bunch. And I have not. I have not been coming here. So there's obviously some stuff that we should be looking at here where we might find maybe better deals. So it's good to pay attention and look around the uh, nep uh, the different cities because you never know what people might have. Yeah, 14 million. Crazy. Best price. 1.2. What are you selling? Stuff and things. Yeah. Same amount. A plus three brigadine set. What you got? How much is this whole set? Two million. That's not bad. To have a whole plus three set. That's pretty good. He's got a, a fancy, fancy uh, hammer there, though. I like it. Ten. Yeah. All right. Chip, Chip, what you got, Chip? Ooh, so we could get ten of the blades. We could be on our way to getting... Wow, ten. So ten, we'd have buy one more, and we'd have all of our blades we need for our Orcish Glaive Blade. We don't have any of the recipes, though, so we're not going to buy that now. What you got, guys? No. And here. Fish to Guildsman's Gratitude. Increases XP and SP from hunting for by 10%. Oh, wow. Guildsman's Gratitude. Wow. So, that might be worth buying. I mean, it only lasts for 20 minutes, but... That is going to be helpful in the SP factor for possibly getting us closer to level 3 clan. You know what? I think I'm going to buy... Ah, oh, jeez. I want to buy a couple of these. 10 would be 150. Yeah, we're going to buy 10 of these. I know that's probably not a good thing, but I feel like... I don't know how many times he's come on the market. Might be worth getting... So, well, friends, I hope you've been... Well, we can check Ulrin, too. We might as well, since we're we're traveling around and looking. And this is going to be a little bit of a longer episode, but I don't think you guys will mind. Let's see if people come in. Maybe people are selling here, maybe they're not. But I'm definitely not... I don't belong here as a D-grade player, but it doesn't look like anybody's here. This kind of spawned in pretty fast, so... Maybe there's a few stragglers, but... Okay, um, Town of Giran. Back to Giran. Well, guys, this is part of the game. You know, checking out the shops. It is all part of it. 
So, all right, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please stop the like button. It really does help me out. It shows your amazing, amazing support. Uh, it Every little bit does help out tremendously. So, uh, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out, everybody.